what do you got? Uh, really? Like, um, can we just lock up the room for the next hour? You just came to Planet Brad. This could be like an entire hour long, two hour long show. So, well, let's go. I'll, I'll just I'll tailor it down. Funds are. Funds are. <laughs> I'll tailor it down to this this weekend. Um, you know, I just, I don't, I didn't even know where to begin, but perfect timing. You guys all know I took off. I ran to Chicago on Monday of this week. I actually left Kansas city at 6 AM and got back to Kansas city round trip at midnight that same night. And it was kind of a wild, wild ride, but I had to go save my daughter from a relationship that went sour and, uh, she had to get her stuff out of the apartment and she didn't have anywhere else to go. So we are, what's that? I said, attaboy. Well, so and here's something funny about this whole having fun, because literally there's nothing fun about sitting in a car for 17 hours, driving up, loading up a car and turn around, coming back home. But we had fun. We actually were laughing on the way home. Um, she was kind of breaking out of her thing and just being normal. She ate for the first time in a few days. And so this weekend, we're going to go to a smash house. She's like, I'm going to go break some shit. <laughs> so we are, you get to write names and stuff on plates and you get to smash them into the wall and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, heck yeah, I'm all about that. Let's do it. Because uh, I'd rather smash a plate than the poor kid's face, you know. Um, so that, um, and then when, when uh, I think it was Bridget that was just saying everybody laughed today. I, I got to tell you, the, my favorite comedian of all time, Brian Regan. And it's Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Regan, R-E-G-A-N. My daughter gave me tickets to go to his show. It's on in April 29th. We get to go to St. Joe. It's about an hour from here. But uh, I've seen him twice before. I took my entire team to see him because he's so freaking hilarious and he does not cuss. So it's the cleanest, funniest comedian you'll ever see. He's got all kinds of stuff on YouTube. And he's really kind of corny on a couple of them. Ha <laughs> ha, corny. Uh, so I really like, I love his humor. And my kids make fun of me because every time I'll m uh, crack a dad joke, I tried to throw a dad joke into the chat there a little bit earlier. That one was for Glenn. I thought that was a good one about the shower. But uh, yeah, whenever I'm uh, trying to crack a joke or something, they're like, you're Brian Regan. Like you, you sound like him, you act like him, everything. So I'll leave you with this. It's, you know, we all know, we've talked about it in this room, just the positive energy that comes from laughter. Uh, I think we've probably done it a dozen times where everybody just opens their mics and starts cracking up laughing and then it makes everybody else laugh. And I remember one time I threw a baby laugh in there and that made somebody laugh even more. So it is contagious. And it reminded me of one of, one of my favorite things that ever came out was that movie, The Secret. It's a, it was a book that was written by Rhonda Byrne. I think B Y R N E. However controversial that thing was, and was it this and was it that and all that other stuff. What I loved about that book is it was power of attraction, and it's just what you plug in, it it, it finds more of it. And I love the story about somebody somebody had cancer and they were really laughing. They did everything they could to laugh at every joke, to to watch funny things and I mean, in the book, they cured their cure, cured their cancer without, you know, medicine. So anyway, just want to leave you with that. Uh, that's a great book to dig off the bookshelf if you have it or just Google it. They've got the little video clip on it. And it, it's a it's a positive. I sent that out to so many people when I felt like they were down, negative, whatever. It's like, man, just watch this. And I haven't watched it in a long time, so I'm glad we had this fun Fridays for me to remember the secret, and I'm going to pull it up and watch it this weekend. So this is Planet Brad, over and out. Awesome, Brad. What was that movie again? It's The Secret, and it's by Rhonda Byrne, R-H-O-N-D-A. It has a whole bunch of great people in it. I mean, famous speakers and, and all kinds of stuff, but yeah, they're The Secret. Awesome. I always love a good comedy. And I love that you share that because I've got a friend of mine that some people in there may know, Joseph McClendon. Um, he shares a story how uh, he got a call, a desperate call from his sister one, one time. Mom wasn't feeling well while was in the hospital. Uh, so he flew over there, was, you know, said, you know, don't, don't do anything until I get there. 
waited. Um, basically, doctor came in and he was, he was coming in. He said, "Listen, your mother's got cancer and she's got three months to live, two to three months to live." So she tried to wrap up her affairs. And he was going to go into delivery. She said, "You can't tell her that." You know, basically, he almost had to fight with the doctor. The cops were called, whatever. And the long and the short of it, he didn't let him tell his aging mom that had cancer until, uh, and then, and then uh, you know, they're the ones that deliver uh, that deliver the news. And he went in and said, "Listen, mom, you, you do have cancer, uh, but the the the, the two, two two kinds one that's can die and one that's can't live or something like that, right?" Uh, and they they took her out of the hospital lab when she was ready to come home, and he, they did nothing for. You know, him, his sisters, just watching nothing but comedies and just laughing with her every single day for a couple hours, just laughing with her. Uh, she didn't die three months later. She died 11 years later. Uh, and the reality of it is we do have, uh, right, and it starts with, and laughter is one of those keys. So I wasn't planning on sharing that story today, but I, I, I just wanted to, Really, and and and, uh, and Brad said it, but I just wanted to go over it again. How the power of laughter is so important and so therapeutic and so healing for us. So laugh, have fun, you know, experience joy, have fun, man. Go out there and have fun. Be a kid again. 